Okay, next video, which is part 4D, which is the last one that I did. Uh, two days ago, Geeky, Geeky Me 97 hello again. I'm sure you might have answered this before, but are you still using Unity 3 or have you upgraded to Unity 4? I'm still using Unity 3.5.7 at the moment, and I would upgrade some point, but I actually want to get a new Mac before I do that, especially since I'm playing, since I'm now developing the 2D platformer game. Uh, I, I'm usually scared of upgrades, and I've had problems with upgrades in the past, and probably most of the developers have. They upgrade, and it's it's uh, if you're not doing it on two separate kind of PCs or two separate Macs then it can cause some problems uh, and you have to do code changes so I'm a little bit worried about that right now but 3.5.7 is doing everything it needs for me right now uh, I've seen a little bit of version 4 which looks kind of cool but the second point is to make is that if you're using Unity 3 and you've paid for Unity licenses I believe that only that license only exists for that entire series so I've, I've paid $400 for the iPhone license and $400 for the Android license those licenses would not be carried on into version 4. I would have to pay an upgrade license fee, which is less than 400, I believe. But just FYI, for anybody who's upgrading, I think that's what you have to do. Don't 100% quote me on that, but I believe it is. Definitely check out unity3d.com before you upgrade to level 4, uh, uh, sorry, version 4, uh, if you paid for any of the licenses, because you'd, you'd have to pay for that, I believe. So... All right, next part. So, get Bix. Hey again. Hope you're having a nice weekend. Hi Martin. Thanks a lot for showing the animation. Wow, you are an awesome teacher. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're right about the rotation part. It generally happens when you don't rotate the object with the proper axis handle, and as a result, calculates all X, Y, Z values in the next keyframe. I would definitely love to play and test the game. I have an Android device, so APK is fine with me. I would like to share the video too uh, of your game. Please share a Dropbox link. Uh, are you planning to add some music too? Cheers. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, that once I've got a test test version at GetBix, I'll I'll definitely drop you a link and and everybody else who wants to play it as well. Uh, and thanks for the comment about being a good teacher. It's, it's really nice to to hear that. Uh, I'll try and throw more tutorial based stuff and and let me know in these comments for this video series. If there's anything specifically like code-wise or anything specifically Unity-wise that you'd like me to go a little bit more into, like I did with the animation stuff on the previous video. So, uh, GetBix again. Uh, though I didn't get the download link of the game, I've shared the YouTube video which you have uploaded before. I have tagged you on the post to keep me keep the videos coming. Awesome. I, I think you're talking about Pop the Fruit, yes, because uh, I mentioned that in the last video. If if that's the one you shared, thank you so much. Uh, Pop the Fruit is a really, really good game, and it's it's done by a developer in North China. Uh, it's doing very well on the Amazon App Store, and it's it's got some really good ratings, and it's a great game. So if you've got an Amazon device, uh, a Kindle, or if you've got the Amazon App Store on your Android device, check it out. And I'm gonna I didn't paste the link in my previous video, but I will paste it here. So thanks for the share, man. That's really cool. Um, Alexandro, uh, hello again. You can try iTween Animation Three. Yeah, I'd heard of iTween before. I think I think if you're talking about the the how to do animation inside of Unity, I'd heard of this one before. I've not really done that much animation in Unity, so it, thanks for the recommendation. I, you know, uh, it's good to see if if other tools have been used. And I'm presuming that you've got this from the Asset Store because I have heard of iTween before. Uh, there are some very cool tools on there, and and I, there's a lot of good 2D ones as well. Uh, like Rage Spline, I've heard is really really good. There's just tons of cool packages and art packages and sound packages which which are in there. So um, and I think as well, sorry, get because you said before. Uh, are you planning to do music too? Uh, yes, I I am planning some music in the game. I'm listening to a few tracks at the moment on YouTube whilst I'm developing the game. Some of those are the there's some like retro uh, retro game music playlists. Um, old game playlists like Mega Man, uh, Mario of course, the Super Meat Boy ones were, were pretty good um, and some other like old school uh, old school uh, game tracks which really kind of inspire me to to, to you know get a feeling for the game I'm not sure what the, the what the music feeling is right now and I'm still trying to figure that out uh, and what what kind of music would be would be good in the game I'm also trying to figure out the artwork and, and how to do that maybe like I mentioned before having it very very simple just like it is right now 
with with um, just those single colors, the blue background, the white, and the the red is anything that ki anything that kills you is red. And just sort of updating it from there, releasing an early version, saying, "Hey, this is version one, everybody. You know, more are coming soon. Keep it updated. Keep downloading it." And what I do is I just add different artwork backgrounds to it as things go along. But I'm still thinking about that because keeping it plain and simple also means that people can see what's going on very, very easily in the game. And it keeps things fast and it also allows development to be fast as well. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. Uh, I, I'd rather people play it for the gameplay element at the moment. Uh, and the target audience really is more hardcore uh, old school gamers who really enjoy a harder challenge and probably aren't as concerned about great looking graphics so but who knows you know please let me know what you think should I add in some artwork or not should it be done after or before the release uh, based on my time and, and how much I can do so but again thanks for the comments guys uh, I'll probably wrap that up there but yeah please like the video please subscribe as always that really helps if you're downloading any of our games uh, please give it a rating that's great feedback and also supports us as well uh, rate it on Google or Amazon or the iPhone App Store, of course. Uh, and if you do, share the Pop the Fruit video around. Thank you so much. I think GetBix, if that's the one that you shared, thank you. That, that is awesome and it really, really supports us. I'm going to put the link to the Pop the Fruit video on Dropbox in the description. I promise I will do it this time. Please remind me if I don't. And what you can do is if you download that video and just upload it to your YouTube channel, that's fantastic it really really supports us because it, it, it spreads the game around and it is a great game as well i totally recommend it uh, and also check out rich dragon gambling on iphone it was just released a couple of days ago with an update uh, and that's a casino slot machine style game and, and you get free coins and it's, it's a great game from one of our development partners as well so anyway i'm going to leave it there i think this video might have gone a little bit too long but never mind have a great weekend everyone have a great week and i'm going to speak to you soon Bye bye